Hey guys, I um, hope you enjoyed yesterday's tutorial. Um, got a slightly different one for today. Um, it's going to be covering a few different techniques that I've learned. Um, so by the end of it, you're going to be able to do something a little bit along the lines of this. So this kind of follows the brush stroke, whereas the one that we did yesterday is just in a straight line. Uh, we've also got a taper on the end of it. So to start off with, let's get rid of that. Um, <clears throat> set up the drawing guide so it is horizontal uh, I'm not going to fill it in black today we're just going to go straight ahead and draw with a black airbrush so to start with I'm going to do a line down the centre and then you want to draw your petals on each side and then just drag that in and fill it. Um, I'm gonna add a little bit more detail just to make it a little bit more interesting to look at. Right, so we've got that. Once we've got that, that is the start of a new brush. Um, so the first thing you wanna do is you wanna flip this 90 degrees and then you want to make sure the snapping is turned on, both magnetic and snapping. And then you want to make sure that this is right in the center of the page like that. You can make it a little bit bigger if you need to. Uh, so then if you go share this and save it, save it as JPEG or whatever you want. Um, all right, we'll get rid of that. So then we go back into our brushes uh, my brushes and then click on the top one so you can make your new brush um, you want to go down to shape same as yesterday and then edit import and import a photo so that's the one that we were using and then what you can do now with two fingers if you just tap it that'll invert it so that's the way you want it looking Okay, so first thing you want to do, which we didn't do yesterday, this rotation thing here, you want to pull that all the way up to the right until it says follow stroke. So then the next thing, if you go to the stroke path, take that to about 50-ish, something like that. Um, back down here to Apple Pencil, uh, opacity all the way down to zero. Um, Oh, the other thing that I do, the properties, maximum size of the brush, do that a bit bigger. It's always a bit cooler to be able to have it a bit bigger. So once that's done, set up a new layer. Let's get the drawing assist on the go. Brush is selected and so you notice that it follows the path of the brush now that you've change that setting rather than it just being in one straight line or whatever it actually follows the path of the brush so now we've got that next thing you want to do go back into the brush and then if you get a taper you want to change the tip size I think link the tip sizes and change the yeah change the tip let's go and clear this drawing pad um so what you can do uh if you press there and clear the drawing pad it gets rid of everything there so you can draw a line that's what the brush currently looks like so if we want to taper at the end of the line we can then move the size up and you see the end of the line is just getting smaller and smaller so you can actually see in real time what you're actually doing um, the pressure is just how hard or how softly you have to press it, but I've been leaving it on uh, on max for the time being. Um, just going to go back into the properties and change the maximum size up a bit bigger, so it's about 300-ish. Okay, so we're good to go now. So if you want to draw your line, I've noticed that you kind of have to flick it a little bit. So towards the end, you kind of flick it like that, and then it gives you that bit of a more tapered effect. If you just kind of do it slowly, you kind of keep the same size. Um, I haven't figured out how to change that yet, but if you're drawing something that's kind of like this, you can then quickly flick it out and you've got your taper. So 
that's that for today guys that's how to do a taper and for the brush to follow the shape um, I'll just do one more thing actually so the let's get rid of this the brush that we made yesterday I think it was this one wasn't it so I've changed it so it follows yeah, if I change the rotation so it follows the stroke, you can see what it does with this one. So it actually, I mean, it doesn't work as well because it's straight lines, but when you have follow stroke, it basically follows the direction of the brush. If we take that back to how it was, it's going to look like this. So you get the idea. Um, okay, that's that for today, guys. Uh, tomorrow gonna be doing a tutorial on how to how to if I can do it tutorial on how to create something that looks a little bit like that totally on procreate so let me know if you found this video helpful um, and also I look forward to seeing you tomorrow take care